Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is Amy Lady. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so excited to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. They won't, they won't hear from you anymore. Okay. Somebody or someone will not hear from you anymore because you've tried yeah, to warn them. You've tried to ask what is yours. You've, you've given them enough time to comply, to do what they ought to do, to make things right, for peace to reign. But this is like they've been adamant. They've been, uh, you know, take, taking you for granted. It's like, like, it's like they've, they've been underestimating you. But God is saying this moment that you, you, you are going to let it go, okay? Let it go right now. And it's no longer going to be you that's going to be requesting them to do what is needful. But God is stepping in right now to force them to do what is needful. It's like you've been asking so, like someone is owing you and you've been requesting for that for you've been requesting them to like refund or like pay back your debts and they were like trying to they've been they've been dribbling or they were like uh, uh, giving you false hope, false promises, and nothing uh, uh, have been done. Like someone uh, was supposed to carry out a project. Uh, for you and they've not even they've, they've not uh, they've not finished your project and you've already paid them and things aren't you, you're not seeing what they've been trying the, the, what they've put in place and they're reluctant about it they are they are unbothered about it they don't even care and you've put a lot of resource money time resources into a particular project and yet some some people are just taking things lightly and you've been talking and calling them out and you first of, at first you you had you wanted to find out what, what happened. They gave excuses and they've been giving excuses upon excuses, and you gave them enough time, yet they've not still complied. And now God is saying that let it go right now and see how He's going to do it all by Himself. Some are some are about to be brought to their knees. Some are about to be brought to their knees, and they're going to be doing what you requested them to do even much more. This is a lot of host. Someone has not finished the project that you gave them, yet they've collected money. Not only that, they've wasted your time, your resources, your attention, a whole lot. Yet, they've not complied. You requested someone to give you back what is yours, and they kept on giving you excuses, on excuses and they're not doing anything. Huh, oh my God. God had to touch this issue right now. God had to bring this forward. And say that whomever that is owing you, or those who are who are supposed to carry out your project for you and they are still they are, they, 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 they are taking it for granted, are about to face a spiritual judgment. Some people are about to face spiritual judgment. And it is even worse than physical judgment. Because some of you, you were wanted to like take them to court, you know, bring them like what is the what is bit of go to book or to report them to authorities. But it felt like if you go to report them, you know, since the world is already like a, a certain way, there, there, there's going to be injustice in that situation. Whatever God says, please just allow things and see how He works in your favor. Just allow him and see how he works in your favor. When it comes to that matter that you've got with somebody. When it comes to that, that injustice that someone is consciously, intentionally carrying out against you. Some of you, they are owing you. Some of you, they have not yet done, you know, finished your, your project that you gave them. Some of you, it's like someone, someone needs to comply. Like someone needs to comply. But they've not done it. They've not done it. And you've been pleading and talking. What's going on? Please, we need to finish this thing. What's happening? Please, we need to do this thing. It's like there's been some kind of things going on that you don't even understand. They can't even explain to you. Whatever the case may be, you have decided to not talk to them anymore. Just give God a little time to handle it. Um, God has to tell some of you this moment that that situation, don't talk about it anymore. Don't give them that call anymore. Don't write them anymore. Just be quiet and see 
how he's going to react against them this moment. This is the word of God to somebody. You've been writing someone for a very long time, they're not responding. Even if they respond, it seems like they're doing you a favor. Whereas they know that they've got unfinished business with you. You've been, you know, being uh, like some people, somebody's owing you an, an apology, somebody's owing you your, your project, your business, whatever that they got going, whatever that you gave them to do, they've not yet listened. God is said, listen, God heard someone's prayer this moment. What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna complain to? The lawyer God says. You cried and he hurt, he hurt you, he, he, he hurt your cry. And now he said, answer you. Don't make a move anymore. Don't call them, do not hear from me anymore. Just allow him, just, allow, just, just, just surrender it and see what he's going to do against them. They're going to call you and do even much more than they're trying to destroy it or to hold back. Hallelujah. God is seizing, seizing your project for some, for, from the hands of the enemies. The enemies have, the enemies, the enemies held your project. They held your business, some things in your life. And that those things will not move. No, it's no longer, it's not, then they're no longer in control. They are not in control anymore. It's moving. It is moving. In the spirit, things are happening. In the spirit, things are happening. Some of your projects are just, they have just been silenced. Or like your business have been silenced. Your ministries have been silenced. This one, there is that activation. There is that revival. That revival is coming back. That fire is coming back. That spirit, the spirit of God is working. The grace is increasing. The spirit of God is increasing. Your grace for ministry, for business, for education, for career. So much that you're going to be walking with ease and grace. You're going to be performing your task with ease and grace, with inspiration, with strength, with awareness. Hallelujah. With experience. God bless you so much. I have been Emily. Faith is our vehicle. And love is our strength. See you in the next video.